ओम सदा शिव समारंभ शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा गुरुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओं सहना सहनो नक् सह वीर करवाहि तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तुमा विषा वहि ई ओं शांति 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 कर्तुराज्ञया प्राप्य फल कर्म किं पर कर्म तड़ कृतिमो दधो पतन कारण फल शाश्वत गति निरोधक ईश्वरापित नेच्छया कृत चिशोधक मुक्तिधक काय बांगमन कार्यमुतम पूजन जप चिंतन क्रम जगत ईषधी युक्त सेवन अष्टमूर्ति भूदेवपूजन ईश्वरा कर्तुराज्ञया प्राप्य फल कर्म किं पर कर्म तड़ आज वी डिस्कस्ड कर्तु आज्ञया प्राप्य फल सो द रिजल्ट ऑफ एक्शन इज ऑर्डेंड बाय द लॉ ऑफ द लॉर्ड मी बीइंग ए कर्ता आई ओनली कैन कीप डूइंग माय एक्शंस but the result of actions will come automatically and you can say it is in keeping with the universal law universal order that is lord here the lord who is both efficient and material cause if we look at only lord as efficient cause like any other religious people highlight about their god or lord definitely there will be big confusion so here is very clear so when the ishwara is a karma phala data that means with reference to karma phala i should not have any attachment because after all i cannot decide my karma phala and based on my decision or activities or whatever karma phala does not come then why should i only think of karma phala because for a common person more than karma karma phala takes up most of the time and energy when you get up whatever you do you do not do in keeping with the action always you look the result in mind keeping the result in mind you act that's why you speed up have you not observed it's like you know when you are driving the car you are supposed to drive already you have reached you know 80 90 speed because your limit is that area only 60 speed but already you have reached 90 but your mind says you have to reach in such and such time you understand you are looking at the result now what happens again you start increasing speed more and more of course thank god now it is the vehicle is better nothing happens but don't worry uncle will be standing somewhere means uncle means police okay standing somewhere if uncle is not there don't worry camera uncles are smart so they keep their toy on the road okay <laughs> so after a few days one love letter comes to your home <laughs> so you understand how it happens so that means when you are driving 
just example sake you are not concerned about the action but you are concerned about the result of action just to try to see this point very carefully that's why in life every time while getting up till you go to bed you are more concerned about the result of action than the action that's why you are not an actor while acting you are an enjoyer please understand that the kartuttam in you the kartutva bhava in you is much more less predominant you can say is very minimal than bhoktrutva bhava that to be an enjoyer that's why you can see that bhaktrutam in you when gets distorted the enjoyership in you when it is being challenged disturbance is challenged then what happens now no more you can become a karta that moment no more you can become a doer it is almost impossible to become a doer at that moment so that's why what is being said here very carefully so when you look at yourself not as a, a bhokta but you look at as a karta so being karta you keep doing and when you keep doing please understand automatically result has to come because after all it is part of universal law universal order but here he says he gives a beautiful clue karma kim param karma tat jadam <clears throat> so whenever we come across the word karma generally we look at karma means vaidika karma so you can close your eyes whenever the karma word comes in shastra any scripture anywhere is talked close your eyes you can use the word called vaidika karma so vaidika karma means the karma that is related to vedic rituals so in short you can say vedic ritual <coughs> because this is psychologically explaining karma action all these things doesn't really convey anything so this is called becomes new vedanta okay <coughs> so a very unfortunate thing so here he says if you look at karma किं पर कर्म तत्म स वैदिक कर्म वैदिक रिचुअल इफ यू ट्रांसलेट दिस वे सो दैट मीन्स वैदिक रिचुअल इज इट एब्सोल्यूट इज इट लिमिटलेस नॉट ओनली दैट बिकॉज आफ्टर ऑल वैदिक इज एज दैट कर्म तत्म दिस वैदिक कर्म Definite is like jaram inert. Why it is inert? Because karma comes out of avidya, ignorance. The ignorance pushes you to do action. From avidya comes karma. From karma comes karma phala in the form of papa punya. Again, that papa punya pushes you where? Again, that is again product of avidya. again you are part of avidya again karma karma so that means avidya karma karma then again in the form of punya and papa again you back to the avidya so the person is being caught in this wheel pool so that is called as the net of samsara the cycle of samsara sometimes in different places it's being talked as you know this is called net of death jaw of death In fact, instead of jaw of death, mrityu pasham better ji net of death. That means net jaw of death is very difficult to escape. You understand? Whereas from the net of death you can escape if you are smart enough. So better to use the word net of death. Okay? So that is a hope that you can escape. How? Here we need to see it very carefully for ourselves. That karma definitely. produces result no doubt in it but karma is not going to produce what really i am looking for in my life 
If you look at your common thing, whatever day-to-day -day life activities, whenever you do something, definitely you look for a result. In fact, keeping predominantly the result of action in your mind, you work. And if the result does not come, you get disoriented. You understand? Uh, Swamiji, because I get called nowadays, Swamiji, I am disoriented. So what does it mean? So disoriented means what? There is no hope of your result. <laughs> Hey, remember, if you are disoriented, please check whatever result you are thinking, whether it's right or not, whether it is sub, uh, 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 legitimate or not. So instead of uh, analyzing that part, what you do? <laughs> Swami I am disoriented. What? Okay, this poor Swami doesn't have anything to do. Also, we'll listen half an hour, one hour. After that, we'll say, don't worry, things will happen. Everything will change. Even though the Swami knows nothing will change, okay? Maybe only Swami's hair will change, okay? <laughs> However, <coughs> coming back here. So, karma kim param? This is the best question to ask one's own self. That whatever I am looking for while acting, is that action going to bring, really bring what I am looking for in my life? So when you ask this question, now the approach towards the karma completely changes. Remember, this is the most important aspect. You don't change karma. You don't change situation. Nor even if you don't have to change your kartutto bhavam, the sense of doership. But you will be able to change the approach, the attitude towards the karma. Everything will continue as it is, supposed to continue, remember. But we are talking that the approach towards the karma, the attitude towards the karma has to be changed. As long as the attitude towards the karma is not improved, is not changed, definitely the karta will become restless in you. Please understand. The karta, you as a karta will be restless. And of course, with reference to karma follow, when you become bhukta, bhukta means angel, definitely again you are restless. So as a karta, as a doer, you are restless. As a bhukta, as an angel also, you are restless. Every time you are restless. Because the attitude towards the karma has not changed yet. Remember, this is the most important aspect. So when the attitude towards karma is not changed, then what will happen? You will try to change anybody and everybody. You change situations. You change place. You change people. Please understand, by changing anything and everything, remember, nothing is going to happen. In fact, you make life more and more complicated. And remember, the bag of problem, okay? I have said long, long back, okay? By changing your bag, means by exchanging your bag with others, you are not going to solve your problem. In fact, you will complicate more in, in your life. Hey, allow to live with your own problem, okay? Yes, it appears others' problems are smaller, lesser, or lighter, but in reality, sometimes it is much more complicated than your problem. That's why you don't have to change anything, anybody, but you need to change the approach towards the karma. How? To understand that karma being limited in nature, will give the result which is limited in nature. But I am someone who is looking for happiness. I am someone who is looking for freedom. I am someone who is looking for 
absolute truth, that which is eternal. And the karma cannot produce that which is limitless or eternal. Being impermanent, being temporary in nature, it will only produce the result that which is a temporary. But I am interested in the, the permanent, that's why karma is not sufficient. So when you have this, then what happens? Now you continue the same action with a different attitude altogether. That's the beauty of living. When I say that you continue with the same thing but with a great difference. So how we look at this difference? Please understand, it's a beautiful way of looking at life. Please, how this karma or you can say how this attitude changes your way of seeing. Now if you observe yourself looking, listening to this class also. You can have your own conclusion regarding this class. Because each one I don't want to get into I don't want to get into really deep, dig into the your problem because sometimes your problem becomes my problem, okay? So I should be better, okay? <laughs> so I must learn to draw a line very carefully, whatever I can, that much, okay? Not more than that. So whatever may be your cause of attaining this class, that's why I'm not going further than this, okay? I'm keeping it, drawing a line very carefully. So whatever it may be the cause of your attaining this class, that is between you and your thinking, I am not part of it. Now, based on the understanding, based on the approach that you have for the class, based on that you prepare yourself or don't prepare for yourself for the class. Can you see this point? The way you sit down in class, the way you come to the class, the restlessness in you or whatever, all these things put together, okay? Just I am trying to tell you. Whether you are here or not here, physically some of you are here, my mentally somewhere, some other place. Many things you do look at yourself very funny way. Please understand. Because sometimes the worst thing is you yourself do not know that you are funny, but somebody has to remind you, hey, hey you are funny. And if somebody reminds you, hey, look, somebody reminded me that I am funny. How is it possible? It's a very funny thing, okay? But what can I do? This poor Swami, imagine how much has to tolerate, okay? Really, I thought to become a Swami means I don't have to tolerate anybody, anything. But now I discovered being a Swami only, I have to tolerate, tolerate and tolerate. However, <coughs> but don't worry, I enjoy what choice do I have? When I don't have any other choice, better to learn to enjoy, okay? Coming back here. So, the way you function, the way you move this half an hour of the class is completely depends upon the approach that you have towards the class. Can you see this point? Starting with opening the computer and till you close the computer. Everything is completely governed based on the approach that you have towards the class. I hope I am clear today. Hope okay. Don't worry again, I'll bring some other time because I know I have to hit time to time in different ways, different occasions, okay. There is no choice. This is what the teaching is. So if this can happen with reference to attending class, same thing also can happen with reference to anybody and anything in your life. And moreover, most of the time, you have very subjective approach, not only with reference to result of action, but also related to the people, those who are connected to either to the result of action or connected to the karma. Can you see this point? This is a very more dangerous point, okay? Not only you have a subjective approach with reference to the result of action, 
but also you have very much subjective approach with a reference to the people those who are connected to the result of action and connected in the process of acting your process of working that's why what happens whole way of working is your only subjective there is no action at all and the more you have subjective activities the more you are tired and exhausted so if you complain if you say that i am tired and tired and exhausted the tiresome or this exhaustion happens not because of anything because constant that subjective objective approach the fight between the subjective and objective approach that's why may you know this that karma has to bring its own result and as long as you are alive another point as long as you are alive you don't have any other choice than working because sitting is an action sleeping also is an action even if you don't want to eat somebody feeds you remember no no i am akarta avokta you understand <laughs> i am akarta avokta means i am not a doer i am not a enjoy an enjoyer that's why i don't eat but somebody has to feed you so when somebody feeds you <coughs> swallow you understand <coughs> you when you swallow the food or water so who is karta le are you not a karta are you not an enjoyer there are you not a doer there that means as long as you are breathing remember that long you have to work so if you have to work what choice you have other than changing your attitude towards the action can you see this point work like a donkey without considering yourself that you are a donkey this is my way of working okay <laughs> work like a donkey without considering yourself as a donkey but what happens you guys you work like a dog not a donkey okay <laughs> you understand what a dog dog works 24 hours at least donkey sleeps nicely you cannot think of the way donkey does what does but dog works 24 into 7 whole night awake pretends because has to get into the good book of bus and when bus or madam comes how does it do everything so you exactly typically work like a dog thinking that you know better i don't want to <laughs> you know disrespect you because already i have disrespected a lot so it doesn't look nice to disrespect you in the morning hours too much today okay <laughs> so with the due respect i am withdrawing myself so here you need to function very carefully so that is what is being highlighted once you know the limitation of karma then you work just for only one thing that is called parchita suddhyartham for the purification of the mind for the availability of the mind to make your mind available for yourself to make your mind available for the teaching to make your mind available for any given situation you need to work because mind is something we never become available for that situation that's why what happens when you are here in the classroom you are not here you are somewhere then after some time oh god what did swami ji say i really missed it because i thought of something somewhere something disturbed something happened i did not know oh god and now it is also swami ji does not upload the talks quickly he takes his own time what is going on with swami ji poor swami ji is blamed do you understand <laughs> so what can this poor swami do okay so coming back here how can you see this point that when you are here you are not here you are somewhere when you are supposed to be somewhere you are not there again you are some other place 
means in short your mind is not available for yourself and when your mind is not available for yourself for anybody or anything definitely basically you are a disturbed mind that is what shastra says that is called impure mind so a disturbed person is impure remember basically a disturbed person is an impure person so that means your impurity is completely related to your mental disturbance mental preoccupation that's why make sure that you need to be available for yourself and for that what karma is a best tool remember the karma is the best tool because without karma you cannot make your mind available for yourself i say always those people who are mentally challenged mentally disturbed challenged is a very bad word okay because in a very short way i am using this word but there is no choice because so that to wake you up those who are really mentally disturbed all the time like mentally challenged people basically those people who are running away from action can you see this point for yourself whenever you start running away from action you try to find out some excuse that time that excuse will bring mental disturbance in you have you not observed this any time in your life whenever you have tried to escape from a given work and that mind that logic has created a disturbance or becomes the cause of your disturbance later on that's say what you need to do here you need to work earlier you were working to get the result now you need to work to improve yourself can you see this point it's a very smart and intelligent way of working because every result anyway brings the result sir every action anyway brings the result there is no choice any karma has to bring karma phala so why are you bothered why are you concerned about karma phala better be a karta keep doing action you will discover things will happen in life i remember a beautiful incident of a puja swami ji which was very inspiring let me share when his 80th birthday was being celebrated there really is a very memorable <coughs> okay so so in his speech when he was talking do you know how this guru and How, the, how guru becomes an institution and there is no difference between guru and institution all this thing she was talking meanwhile he said one word one statement which was very nice to really cherish at this moment he said look i had never thought that we will have so many students and that to sanyasi students huge number i never thought but i was continuing continuing my teaching so when i was continuing my teaching look now what is the situation today which i never planned that okay i'll have so many students this will happen that will happen nothing my job is as a teacher being a teacher let me continue teaching and of course the result comes suppose if the person is only focused on creating you know students students branding not creating students branding students you understand like other organization they do they brand students you understand so they only do the branding job like any business people do that they are branding then what happens 
that's why in life this is the most important aspect with this i'll stop it you need to keep doing and make sure that if you don't do what else to do this should be the your question make sure if you don't do what else to do that should be your approach that should be your understanding if i don't breathe breathing is an action if i don't breathe what else to do can you see this point if you don't do you will die same thing also if you don't do you will destroy your mind remember as long as you are working that long your mind is alive and active that's why your job is to give more and more work to your mind and if you don't give more and more and work to your mind mind will go crazy and make you will make you will crazy also will make you crazy that's what happens that's why may you work not to achieve the goal may you work not to achieve or reach your goal but may you work to purify to make your mind available for the goal this is the difference nothing else now you can work much more than before in fact as long as body is there as long as mind is there as long as everything is there keep working 24 into 7 best part is be a donkey but never consider that you are a donkey or else don't worry you will become a dog <laughs> just to please others just observe yourself you are working like a dog to please others starting your starting your parents as a child you did it then your spouse your colleagues your children appa <laughs> you understand <laughs> i don't want to please me okay at least okay please delete my name from that list at least <laughs> <clears throat> that's why may you understand kartaragya prapyate phalam karma kim param karma tat janam karma is not going to give you happiness karma gives you comfort and the mental comfort is making yourself available if you can make yourself available any moment at any time for anything that is the comfort that you have created for yourself more of it we'll see tomorrow पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शांति शांति